hi what's up welcome back to my youtube channel it is sunday i vlogged for like a second yesterday because we were just like out with people and it was just fun and there was nothing just to record so that's why i didn't really vlog but i vlogged for like a second so i'm gonna insert that vlog footage right here that i did record so that way it's just not wasted footage and um yeah i'm getting my hair done next week so um please ignore and i think i'm ditching the middle part and going back to my side part i feel like when i watch videos backwards i or back like my video clips back i feel like i like the side part on me more and the middle part kind of makes my face look longer um i already have like a long face so um i just feel like a side part suits me and i just like tucking hair behind my ear and having it like a little bit more volumized on the side and plus it just parts better on the side because if you remember a few vlogs ago i showed you how my hair naturally parts and it literally parts in a zigzag but I'm all ready to go. You're not gonna believe where I got this little coat jacket from, but I placed an order on Shein for a little bit more of work clothes, and I got this jacket too. And I think it's 20 bucks when I got it, it was on sale. So 20 bucks, and I think it looks more <laughs> expensive than 20 bucks. I just don't know what it is, I love Shein it's just great this is what the coat looks like it has cute little button detailing goes longer in the back and it has like the big pockets which you can use can you tell what type of material that is i forget what type of material what is this like felt almost it's a little bit thicker but not super thick if that makes sense i got a few other things as well but this is one of the things that i got and I decided to put it on today. I'm also wearing this cropped sweatshirt from Shein as well, Lululemon Align Leggings. These shoes that I don't wear that often, they're the Nike Court Visions. And I think I got them on Amazon, but I'm not sure. And they're just white, kind of like Air Force Ones, but these are them. So, oops, it's the footage from yesterday. But um, we went, to like a chili cook-off there wasn't a lot of contestants apparently there was supposed to be a lot more but like covid and everything so we did that and then we just like hung out with some people so now it's sunday and i feel like i need to just like vlog so much so i can get caught up um and get like a decent amount of footage for a video so i'm going to dunkin donuts right now because christian actually loves dunkin donuts and i'm just like you're not my boyfriend. Dunkin' Donuts isn't bad. It's not. It's not that bad. And their Valentine's Day drinks are there. And I think I tried the Valentine's Day drink last year and it was pretty good. So I'm going to go and get that and get some breakfast sandwiches for us from Dunkin'. I, I know that's probably like gross to some people, but I don't think Dunkin's food is that bad. It definitely is not healthy. So and i mean when if anyone else can relate when your significant other your boyfriend goes i kind of want this you're like okay perfect because i don't want to decide on what we eat so the second he was like dunkin donut sounds good i was like okay perfect i don't have to decide on where we're going okay i got the red velvet macchiato and this is exactly what i tried last year so, yeah, it's delish. It's really good. I'm gonna make Christian try it when we get back. But, um, got a bunch of food. Bunch of food. So, people are probably like, ew, Duncan. I feel like I know a lot of people that eat Duncan, so maybe it's, I mean, whatever. I, think, I don't think it's terrible. I realized I never put this ring light away. <laughs> you need to put it away. So I just got back from Trader Joe's and um, getting my nails taken off. But 
I follow a Trader Joe's Instagram account that shows new products or recipes using some of the most popular Trader Joe's items. So this past week I saw these apple cider vinegar beverages that are new to Trader Joe's and I I'm not I don't love apple cider vinegar, but I love incorporating it into my everyday lifestyle. So I got these two flavors and I got multiple of them, but there's lemon strawberry and then there's ginger and lemon. And I was talking to the girl at the checkout and she said that the ginger lemon was the most popular. So I got these cold and these are room temperature. And I also got their ginger shots. They're really cheap ginger shots and they're good. So I just got some of those. And I also got this celery juice and I've never tried it. So I'm gonna try that too. I also got other stuff, but I just wanted to talk about these because these are something that I was really excited to pick up when I went to Trader Joe's today. I'm heading to Publix right now with my Merry Christmas list maker. And this celery juice from Trader Joe's and <laughs> it's good I mean you know it's celery juice so it's not bad but I haven't tried the other drinks yet so I'm excited to get back and try those but this is just you know it's celery juice so and I'm trying to cover my handwriting because I've always had bad handwriting or I at least don't like it yeah this is I mean it's okay I just liked how it didn't have like a lot of sugar in it like added sugars so it's just 100% juice, I think. Okay, I'm about to, I just got home from Publix. I feel like I'm doing, I'm running around doing everything today. Um, now I'm gonna try an apple cider vinegar, the apple cider vinegar, ginger, and lemon drink that I got from Trader Joe's. One of you guys responded to my story that I posted on Instagram of these. By the way, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. I'm trying to be more active and just post more on there. So um, I will put my name on the screen right here. So if you want to follow me, <laughs> definitely follow. But one of you commented or replied back to my story and said, please let me know how they are. And she also said that she's obsessed with the ginger shots because of me from Trader Joe's. And they honestly are the best ginger shots and they're the cheapest ginger shots. So I'm going to try this. What? They're not bad. It has like a hint of apple cider vinegar because the ingredients are... Sparkling water, one tablespoon apple cider vinegar, and then flavors of ap apple, ginger, and lemon. So there's only one tablespoon in this full can. You can like kind of get a hint of it. It's not bad. So this huge bottle of apple cider vinegar, I want to say is either if it's not under $10, it's around $10. So, and these were... Oh, they're $1.69 per drink. So it's not too expensive, but this is, how many servings is in this? There's 63 servings. So what I used to do when taking apple cider vinegar and it was difficult for me, when I first started drinking apple cider vinegar, I would take the gingerade kombucha and I'd mix like two tablespoons of the gingery kombucha with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and it completely gets rid of the apple cider vinegar taste and it goes down easily. That's like my little trick. And then what I do occasionally is mix it. I like it with warm lemon water mixed in. It, I think it tastes better than it with cold lemon water. I don't know if there's a difference, but I prefer it warm. That might be a little weird, but um, since I drink warm lemon water in the mornings, I just just drink it warm at night now all I do is just dilute it with a little bit of water so a little tip if you want to incorporate apple cider vinegar I know you can get those gummies but I feel like gummies aren't as effective as the apple cider vinegar drink itself in my opinion but I personally have never tried the gummies so if you disagree let me know and if the gummies are easy to Take and you feel like you get the same effects as drinking the apple cider vinegar let me know but the gummies are more expensive than a container of this so if i could drink the container then i'm good i got more of this when i went to trader joe's today we got it a few weeks ago and it was really good and it went fast and i like eating it with these simple mills crackers i'm almost done with both boxes so that's why i have two of them 
but I really like the sun-dried tomato and basil and then the rosemary and sea salt one. We just got home from dinner it's almost eight o'clock and i haven't cooked my lunches for the week i usually take something else on monday and cook for cook monday night for tuesday wednesday thursday friday i only eat food after four days after cooking it i just think it's weird to eat it five days after plus i feel like meat doesn't last that long i don't know but this is what i Usually do I always bring ground turkey. I do a third of this taco seasoning packet tastes really good You can also just make your own taco seasoning. You don't have to do this. This is just easy, and I don't have to think about it This is my favorite vegetable Little pack from Trader Joe's. I like this because it's easy too because it's four servings So you don't really have to think about portion portions for any of this it's already basically this is four servings this is four servings this is four servings so this is next I love bringing rice cauliflower and I feel like this stuff just mixes well together and it tastes really good and it's super balanced so this is what I usually bring I don't always bring the Trader Joe's rice cauliflower Publix has some and I just bring whatever mixed vegetable I want sometimes I bring zucchini and squash or I air fry broccoli or I bring Brussels sprouts. It kind of just depends, but this has been, I had this last week and it's just so good. I've had it before. Last week wasn't my first time, but I love the flavor of this with this and this. So I'm gonna cook this and I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, this is what the finished product looks like. And I'll have this for four days for four of my lunches. I haven't ended off a vlog from the floor of my closet in a little while. I look brunette, but I have a really bad stomach ache, so I'm just gonna end off. I'm sorry for this like lack of energy. I am going to shower and lay in bed, and hopefully the stomach ache goes away. It just feels like someone's like turning your stomach. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.